Hey guys, today we're going to show you five different Chrome Delete options for the inside of your Tacoma that will completely change your environment. We're doing a full AJT setup inside of this truck. And for these, you have many options and colors. Today, we're gonna go with matte black and lunar rock to match the truck. Okay guys, so your stock Tacoma is gonna come with a lot of chrome accents, like around here on the vent rings, down here on your shift knob, over here to change your gearing, and also the start button, as well as some silver on your like vent rings to control your air temperatures and air speed. So in a previous video, we just swapped out the cup holder in this truck to match the color of this car. This cup holder also makes the cup holders a little bit bigger so they can fit like a Nalgene or a hydro flask. Makes you have a lot more storage capability up front. First thing we're gonna do is door handle covers by AJT. They just cover up this chrome, super easy. They just slide right on. Okay guys, next we're gonna do these vent ring installs. This deletes all of the chrome that are around your vent rings. We're gonna show you guys how to do that. First thing that you're gonna wanna do is remove this part of your dash. In order to do that, I like to come to this right side, place one hand on the top, one hand on the bottom, and you just kinda wanna apply pressure until it comes off. Now that's kind of crazy, but just pops off like that. Nothing breaks. Just apply pressure until it comes off. Don't just rip it. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is remove these chrome rings. And in order to do that, we need to take the whole piece out. It's really simple. On the inside of here, you'll see that there are three different tabs holding this in. You can use a pry tool like a screwdriver and you just kind of move them up until they come out. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use a pry tool and you're gonna remove each one of these just by kind of creating a little space in these tabs right here on this side. So next you're gonna to wanna to take an X-Acto knife or box cutter or something like this and you'll see that there are green welds in here. There's two on each side, so there's six total. You'll just take this and you'll just cut off the back of that. That's what's gonna allow the chrome piece to come out. Just kind of come in here, it doesn't take too much force. Pops off just like that. After you cut off all of those green plastic welds, you'll see that there are three chrome clips that are still holding in your chrome piece. You'll use like a pry tool or a screwdriver or something like that just to slowly work those out. So what you want to do is just kind of until you work those out and they should all just kind of pop out. So once you've removed all of the green welds on the back and the clips, your chrome piece should just pop right out. Okay, so now that you have your chrome piece taken off, you'll wanna prep the surface with the provided alcohol pad, and then you'll place this piece on. So first, we'll prep the surface. You kinda of wanna use this to kinda of get in there, all the areas in which you know it's gonna stick, just to kinda of get rid of any dust, and the alcohol helps the 3M tape stick. So as soon as you've done that, take this, you'll remove your 3M tape, and then your vent ring goes on just like that. Okay, so once you install your vent ring, what you'll wanna do is replace your vent itself. By doing that, you'll turn it around to this side, and you wanna make sure that these clips that have the bigger brackets on the side are lined up with these tall clips on the side. So you just kinda of slide this into place, use your pry tool, get that plastic worked up, Okay, so now we'll take this side off. It's important to note that your other trim piece that goes over your radio has to be off as well in order to get this one off. But just like the other one, just wanna put your hand on the top, the bottom, and just kinda of pull until the clips should just come off. You'll take this off, and then you'll repeat the process that you did on the other two on this one. So once you have your vent ring installed, you just put this plastic trim piece back Make sure everything lines up right. It should just clip back into place. Just kind of use your hands to go around everything and make sure just like that. Okay, so now that you've got your vents replaced and your new vent rings on, you'll just put it back onto your dash. You just want to line up all of your clips. And just slowly secure it back in until you hear them all click back into place. Just kind of go around, make sure it's all flush, just like that. Okay, so in order to take this side off, you'll use like a little pry tool. There's about six clips around this outside and you just kind of want to get it in here as gently as possible so you don't scratch your plastic. Work it up, get 
find your clips. You just kind of want to use that to get it off. So once you have it kind of the most of the way off, you can use your hands. It should just slide out. Once you do this, you'll want to repeat the process that you've seen on the other rings that we've done by removing this from this, getting rid of the little green welds in there, moving the chrome piece, and replacing it with your new. Okay, so after you've removed that and your chrome piece and replaced your new vent ring, you're just going to put it back in here, just like this. You want to look for this little yellow tab, that's the one on the top. Place it in just like this, and it just clicks back into place. You got vent rings. Okay, so now that the vent rings are on, we're gonna move down to the shift knob to get rid of this little chrome piece around this collar right here. This is probably one of the easiest ones to do. All it is is a little overlay that goes over the top of this. So then you'll take your AJT piece and you just place it right over this shifting column, right over your chrome piece, and you just kinda wanna push that down until it's in a nice firm position. Okay, so once you put that on, it'll be sitting on there loose, just like that. It's totally normal. It will tighten up as soon as you get the shift knob back on. So now what you'll do is just screw your shift knob back into place. And then you go ahead and replace this collar, just like, and once you click that into position, it should sit in there firmly and get rid of that chrome for you. Okay, so next we're gonna do this little silver ring around this upper cup holder right here. In order to get it off, you just wanna take a pry tool um, like a screwdriver or a plastic prying tool. So what you'll do is just kind of get this underneath there. Don't really worry about damaging that silver piece because the whole thing is coming off. Just like kind of inch it through and just kind of lift. Comes off just like that. Okay, so you'll want to prep the surface that you're about to stick your new one onto. There will be an alcohol wipe provided. Okay, so once you've removed the 3M tape and prepped your surface, you're good to put the new piece on. Next, we will be doing the climate control rings by AJT. Um, this is another simple one. All they do is pop off this little gray piece and then you replace them with whatever color you pick. So just kind of get up underneath it. You to get the other one. And it'll pop off just like that. So then you'll take your new one and you'll just place it right back where that other one just was. And then what you're going to want to do is just repeat the process on the other two. Okay, so now that those are done, we're going to get to the tricky ones. We're next going to replace two pieces right up front right here. Your engine start stop right here, that little chrome ring that goes around that. And then also the chrome ring that goes around your two wheel to four wheel drive control. So just like towards the beginning of this video when we had to remove this piece, we're gonna have to remove it again. You just go ahead and pop that off, just like that. Okay, so now that that's off, there are four bolts located around your radio. You're not gonna need to take your radio completely out. You're just gonna wanna remove those bolts so that the radio itself, this head unit is loose because there's a clip underneath here that's gonna be kind of tricky to get out underneath your radio when you have to take this, this control panel off. First. So now that your head unit is loose, what we're going to do is just leave that for just a second while we remove the this part of the control panel. So we're going to remove this piece right here, you can get like a couple fingers back there and then you turn on a bolt and it'll come undone. And you don't need to fully take this off, you just kind of want to, it's good to just kind of sit there. Okay, so you want to make sure you get a hand on the gray piece down here and then as well as the black piece up there. And you just kind of work that off just like that. And it should just, your head unit should just come off. Okay, so at this point, what you're going to do is unplug these wires. You just got little clips back here in the back. Okay, so now that we have this out of the car, we're going to step over to a bench just so that we can do this to make it a little easier. Now that you have the unit out of the car, what we'll do is start with the start stop button to get that one out first. You turn the unit around, and there's two tabs on this back side. That you'll use your flathead screwdriver just to kind of press in on these tabs just to get them out okay so once you have your start stop button out you'll take your small flathead and you'll just kind of press it underneath the chrome right here and work it out 
So once you get this piece off, you'll then take your new piece by AJT and it should just place right on over where the existing piece was. So once that's done, this will just slide right back into its original housing. Make sure that the words are straight up and it should just clip right back into place like so. Next, we'll take out the four wheel drive control and this one comes out the exact same way. It's got two tabs on the back side. So next you'll need a small Phillips screwdriver to start disassembling this button. Just start by removing these first two Phillips screws. Next, there's a small circuit board that needs to come out, and you'll just lift it by these prongs right here. There's still another black piece right here that's not being held on by anything. You just want to turn your knob upside down, and it pops straight out just like that. After that, you'll look down inside there, and there's another screw that will need to be removed. Okay. As soon as that screw is loosened, you'll see that your front button will actually fall out. There are two clips in here that hold that ring. There's one on this side and one on this side. And you'll just kind of carefully work your way in here with your Phillips. Once you work your way in there, you'll notice that you can get like a little gap right there. And then you'll just repeat the process on the other side. You'll be able to slide the whole ring off. And then again, the, this goes on just one specific way. So you just kind of want to work it until you figure out which way that is. So now you'll reassemble it, you'll take your big black piece first, and it should slide right back in. Take your button, and up, right, and then while that's like that, you'll want to hold the button in place and take your Phillips head screwdriver and screw that screw back into place. Next, you will place this black piece back in there. Again, this only has one right way to go in, it should slide right back in and then you're good to replace your circuit board. After that, you go ahead and replace your top plastic piece. Your control unit like this, and it should slide right back into its existing place. Okay, so now that that's back in place, we'll hop in the car and get this rewired back up. Now you'll take this, you'll just take the wires like this, and you'll replace them back in. And then you'll go ahead and replace this like this. This is where having the radio loose is nice because it can just, you don't have to worry about this clip would normally have to hang up. But since that radio is loose, this thing will just be able to clip right back into where it was. Okay, so then next you'll replace this. Just push down on the bottom and then in like that. Now you're going to want to replace all of your screws. Just like how we did earlier in the video. What you'll do is you just play the, place this back right over here, line it up, and it just clicks right back into place. And just like that, all of the chrome has been completely deleted from the inside of your truck. It makes it a brand new truck. I love the way that this truck turned out with the pieces that we were able to use. Be sure to look them up on our website. The AJT design stuff is amazing. Thanks for watching.